Here, kitty, kitty. Meow. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Meow. Here, kitty. Meow, meow, meow. There it is. The Polly Panther completed. Rocking and rolling. Left the clear receiver. That's well, kind of smoke gray. But it's all together. Fire is functional. So we're going to put it through some paces here. Now I've got the metal four in just because that's the way it's going to be deployed. But I do have the shorter stock for comparison purposes. So this is the one that it was being compared against. This was its predecessor, I guess you could say. Uh, it's not complete 100%, but it's it's functional. It's about 400 feet per second with the metal gearbox that's in it. So we got our highly accurate Weight Watcher scale, and you know Oprah's not going to lie to us, so should be good enough for this. So we got zeros. Don't need the BBs for for weight. We got four pounds, 0.9 ounces. Let's do this guy. Four pounds, five ounces. So even with the metal four end, we're quite a bit lighter. Here we are. Three pounds, 9.7 ounces with our little shorty four end. She goes back to zero. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and do some uh, chronograph. See what we got with this junk stock setup. But should be interesting for comparison purposes. So let's go ahead and get the weight of a standard full size CM28. So that's three pounds, 13 ounces. Okay, the camera's having a hard time picking up the chronograph, but we'll do our best here. This is Poly Panther. I've got the Elite Four 7.4 LiPo. It's uh, not a great battery, but it's not a great gun, so shouldn't expect too much. So this is Poly Panther. 315, 318, 318, 314, 315, 317, 317.8, 256, 326, 327. <laughs> We're getting really good uh, consistency off of this plastic gearbox, as we would expect. But let's go ahead and try one of the uh, stock ones. See how it compares and see if it has that same consistency problem or maybe I'm having hop up problems. So here's the chart and it's showing 257, 324, 324, 256, 317, 317, 315, 314, 318, 252, 253. It's kind of all over the place. So let's try it with the regular CM28. So we've reset the chronograph. Got my CM28 here, same battery, same 0.2 gram Elite Force Bio BBs. Not that I recommend those, but that's just what I have. I actually prefer the old Excel 0.2 uh, Bio BBs, but it's been so long since they've made them that I don't really feel comfortable buying them anymore. Alright, here we go. 240, 244. 250, 244, 184, 249, 185, 248, 245. So we're getting pretty consistent shots here. And they're around 250. So that's kind of interesting. Same gearbox, same battery. So maybe how I set up the hop up on that other one, because I did. Uh, make it so that it had more 
application. So, that's interesting. Let's try something else. Twelve rounds a second. You notice that last one, twelve rounds a second, four and twenty-four feet per second. So all in all, uh, kind of an interesting result. The Poly Panther didn't do too bad. Some of those were 340 feet per second out of a plastic gearbox and a 7.4 LiPo with just your standard old Elite Force batteries. So I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. This thing would definitely stand up in a CQB, I think, even with those dropping those feet per second every couple rounds. So... Uh, Maybe I'll do some outdoor testing and uh, see if I can't come up with some video for that. So I was reviewing the footage and I could see that those low FPS numbers were actually reading ricochets off the back of the backstop coming back through the front of the chronograph. So I'll do some more testing and give you guys the average feet per second for Poly Panther since that's the most important. But for testing everyone's away and I found these so guess what we're going to be shooting so here's my GoPro setup for my airsoft it's one of these quote-unquote CNC adapters and uh, one thing you want to be sure to do if you want one of these is to buy it from China because I think they're two dollars and thirty six cents somewhere in there maybe they're four dollars but from the US sellers that unscrupulously sell them, I think they're 40 something, 20 to 40. They're only a couple dollars from China. You just have to wait. <clears throat> and really, it doesn't really work that good because I don't know with this particular, the GoPro Hero 5, it's got such a wide angle shot that it has a hard time picking up the BBs. But you'll see. I wanted to show you this that I picked up yesterday at a thrift store. It's a, a, a altimeter from a World War II airplane. And it's got this uh, label. Last time it was rebuilt was September of '46, so pretty darn sure that it's was in a plane. Pretty cool. Five bucks. Pretty neat. Unrelated, but cool nonetheless. This is how we're going to kill it. Well, that's a bummer that I didn't get that top row on that, but I don't really have time to reset and reshoot, so that's it on that. Anyway, so with the 11.1 LiPo, looks like I've got an average of 319.3. So I'm going to try it again with the 7.4. It seems to shoot just fine with the 11.1. Pretty consistent, actually. Uh, max is 326, min is 312, so... You could kind of see on that shooting video of the ornaments, though, that there was some droppers in there every once in a while, and I don't know, maybe that's just the ammo consistency. Like I said these aren't the greatest. All these shot fine into the pillow, but this one broke up, and if that happens inside your gun, that's big problems. Anyway, so I'll try, I'll swap on the 7.4 and repeat the test, and we'll try it again. Well, there you go. Obviously a wiring restriction. Uh, with the 7.4 you've got an average of 324.4, max 329, min 319, with a pretty close, I mean there's no, no droppers in here at all. Uh, rounds per second is 8.3 to 9.5, it started picking up at the end there. So all in all, pretty darn impressive for a polymer gearbox and plastic, pretty much everything. Now longevity might be something else, and that'll be something I'll have to test out in the long term, but for now I'd say that's a pass. I mean, I don't really see the need to mess with it. That's going to be perfect for me, uh, and 
for what I need to use it for. I might end up just painting that polymer receiver anyway. I don't know, we'll see. So thanks for watching. This has kind of been a long episode, but hopefully you've picked up something. I definitely learned something. Uh, that the brass barrel in that Poly Panther adds to the weight, but I think it also adds to the increase in feet per second and the accuracy of it. It seemed to be fairly accurate, you know, for not having adjusted anything. Of course, everyone blames the hop-up adjustment for not being able to hit anything the first shot. But like I said, too bad we didn't get the top row on the this video because you can't really see much on the GoPro. But I'll include what's worthwhile of that anyway. Uh, Anyway, thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next project.